First tonight, police have warned people in a Derbyshire village to lock their doors and their windows after the murder of a pensioner. 86-year-old Frieda Walker was violently attacked in her home at Langwith Junction near Shirebrook, as was her 88-year-old husband, Ken. Well, our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, is there for us this evening. I mean, what's the very latest you have tonight, Jeremy? Well, and um, more flowers just being laid here and an appeal for information tonight from Derbyshire's Assistant Chief Constable. Dave Kirby said Frieda was killed and Ken was left for dead. And now detectives need the public's help to find who was responsible. A couple in their late 80s violently attacked in their own home, a killer still at large. Today, scenes of crime officers were removing more evidence. The question for neighbours, why? They were very good. She did flowers for the church, flower arrangements. It is shocking because you don't get to that age and expect that. We, don't, we still don't know exactly what has happened. Floral tributes tonight to a lovely lady, the nicest person on this earth, the best friend anyone could have. Neighbours were visibly shaken when the news emerged over the weekend. She was here Friday tea time. We had a cup of tea together in a chat. I can't get over it, I can't shut my eyes. I can't think how she died. She was a loyal friend. Tonight, Frieda and Ken Walker were formally identified by the police. Mr Walker used to be the chairman of Bolsover District Council. He's now critically ill in hospital. It was only last month that uh, we conferred the status of honorary uh, Alderman, you know, he's a fighter, he's Ken. Let's hope that, uh, you know, he, he recovers from this and is able to help police to catch whoever's done, the, done this, you know. Derbyshire police say what happened inside this house was horrific. They're not treating it as a domestic incident and say they're following a number of lines of inquiry. They'll clearly need to consider whether this could have been a burglary that went wrong. And with no one arrested so far, they've issued this warning. What I do urge people to do is obviously, um, you know, carry out good security in relation to their homes, keep their doors and windows locked, do not let any strangers in, um, don't keep any valuables obviously on display um, and obviously have a, a means of making contact to the emergency services if need be and make sure that people and loved ones know where they are at any given time. Detectives are now appealing for any CCTV or dashcam footage from Friday night and Saturday morning and police say they'll have a significant presence here for some time to come. Jeremy, have the police said anything else tonight? Yeah, one thing they're doing, Anne, is looking into whether what happened here might be linked to similar incidents. In fact, they've already started talking to uh, an investigation team down the road in Nottinghamshire. Now, that team's been looking into another attack which happened last month at Stony Lane in Trow, where another couple in their 80s were viciously attacked by a man who broke into their home at night and demanded money. Now, both forces say no evidence to connect these two incidents, but it is early days and they're not ruling anything out. And uh, here in Shirebrook, expect high visibility police patrols tonight. I would like to reassure the community that every necessary resource from the force and from the regional East Midlands Special Operations Unit are working together 24 hours a day to find out who was responsible and to establish the full facts of what happened. You can only imagine what the Walkers family must be going through after this weekend. Derbyshire police say they're now being supported by specially trained officers and they say if you do have any information at all, no matter how insignificant it might seem, well they want to hear from you as soon as possible on 101.